Hey everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler. Welcome to Vlogmas Day, whatever this is. I'm gonna say five. Don't count me on that. Um, today I have my November book haul for you guys. It's eight books, it's not too bad. So to jump right in, my first two are from Danny at Spinelli Speaks. She spoils me and she also has the most kick-ass luck finding stuff at thrift stores in like great condition for like three cents. Not literally, but close. Um, so the first one she gave me is a collection of two books together. There's no dust jacket on this. So it's Gad's Hall and The Haunting of Gad's Hall by Nora Lofts. Um, I think she got this in a book box of some kind. I don't know where she found it, but it's a mystery series from the early 70s, I want to say. And she's not a big mystery person. I am. So very happy to have this. Dust jacket doesn't bother me. And then the other one I have been looking for and couldn't find in good condition or could find it with deckled edges, which I'm not a big fan of practically. Um, anyway, she found this for a dollar. It's Timeline by Michael Crichton. I mean, that's amazing. So I'm really excited about this. People have said not nice things about the movie, but I really liked the movie when I watched it. It's been probably 10 years at least since I've seen it, but I really enjoyed it. So people say the book is better. I hope that's the case. We'll find out eventually. Don't know when I'm going to read that. Okay, the next two are my Book of the Month Club picks. So the one I chose, <clears throat> excuse me, is How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days by K.M. Jackson. This should be a fun sort of romance, road trippy rom-com. Um, so the main character, I think if I have this right, is um, a photographer. I have to look. It's terrible. She's an artist. Um, and she's obsessed with Keanu Reeves and she hears that he's going to get married in 90 days and she thinks that he should marry her instead. So she has to go to like find, she's going to try and find Keanu and <laughs> convince him to hopefully marry her or at least stop her wedding. And I think she brings her best friend along who is a guy. So, I mean, I know where this is going to go, but anything with Keanu Reeves in it has got to be good in my book, right? Like who doesn't love Keanu? Oh my gosh. And then this one was an additional like add-on. Um, it wasn't a proper like pick for Book of the Month Club if you're in there. But I put this on my TBR maybe two or three days before I, I picked the books. And this was there. And I was so excited to get a decently priced copy of In the Weeds, Around the World and Behind the Scenes with Anthony Bourdain by Tom Vitale. I love Anthony Bourdain. I love the very first episode of his show. Actually, I liked everything he's done, but I, I just really fell in love with him. In the last couple of years of his life, he changed so much. It was worrying me. It made me feel so bad. And then when, yeah, still sad about it. Still sad about it. Anyways, so this will just go on my Anthony Bourdain little shelf or have a couple of books about him or start, he started writing or whatever. And when I feel like I can handle it, I'll read this. But I really do want to read this and see what it was like behind the scenes filming one of my favorite ever shows. One of my favorite ever people. Um, next up are two from Half Price. I was there looking for specific books for people and... Um, I found two, like this one was my like, ah, oh, what the hell <laughs> kind of a book. Um, Bitter Orange by Claire Fuller. This is, I think her second novel. The first was Swimming Lessons. That was a book of the month club pick. I don't know, four or five years ago. Still haven't read it, but I own it. Anyways, this sounds pretty interesting and I love the cover. It's set, um, there's a single lady who moves into an upper or lower um, floor of uh, an English country house and she's writing a book about the gardens. I don't know if they're dilapidated or refurbishing or I don't know what but writing a book about them and then either above or below her is this couple that she befriends and they become very fast friends. They seem very glamorous and attractive and flashy. They start doing everything together and then something happens that affects all of their lives. So I'm here for these kind of creepy isolated country house vibes. Absolutely. And then one, I was very surprised to see that they had because I had just been recommended it like literally 10 minutes before I um, got to the store by someone. But this is The Soul of Money by Lynn Twist. So uh, I'm not great with money stuff. Financial terms and business terms tend to mean nothing with me. For me, I they fall out of my head. Definitions fall out of my head very fast. I just, it's just not my jam. And I have very poor money habits myself. Like I, I feel like I don't deserve to have any money. Um, one of many weird things that I know is incorrect. So I'm trying to work on that. And I feel like this will be a good balance for me of being about finances and being about money without being too 
officially financey, if that makes sense. So really hoping for it. This is a good one. Also, it's signed by the author. Not to me, my name isn't Pat, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. So that was a nice score. And then the last two here are ones that I've remained by myself for absolute ages and finally jumped the gun. So the one I jumped the gun on, which is only from 2014, I thought it was much older than that, but whatever. The Body Keeps the Score, Brain, Mind, and Body in the Healing of Trauma by Brian Vanderbalk, sorry, Vander Kolk, excuse me, Brian Bessel. Wow, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, this has sounded interesting to me since the very get-go, since it first was published. Um, I'm a massage therapist. For those of you who are new, hello and welcome. Um, I've been a massage therapist for 14 or 15 years. I keep saying 15. I don't really know. It doesn't matter. Move on, Laura. Um, but I have worked on hundreds of bodies, um, all different kinds, shapes, colors, um, various abilities or disabilities or um, trauma experiences, everything. And the more I work on people, the more time I touch people and spend time with my hands on people. Just that alone has made the somato-emotional somato connection so, so, so clear to me. Let alone when you talk to people and you start working on them as they're talking. I mean, as a massage therapist, you are a mental therapist as well. And a lot of people can't hack that and don't like it. I'm not trained as a therapist, like a therapist, therapist, talk therapist, but you just sort of become one. People are vulnerable and they're relaxing and you're trying to get their health history. And so much of health history involves trauma. So I am really excited to finally read this, see some science for the stuff that I already know is true, get some backups for it, get some different perspectives about it. But I'm very excited to have a copy of this book. I've Everyone I know who has read it, especially people who are not in like the health or touch industry, say how great it is. So I am really psyched for this. And this last book I have for you, okay, it's from 1990. Um, uh, fun fact about me, I'll make this quick if I can. When I went to college, it was the late, late 90s, and um, I started out with a major in elementary education realized quickly that because of the math stuff and because of the potential parents, I was not cut out to be a teacher. So I switched to English literature. And then maybe my junior year or something of college, I figured out that there was um, a profession called music therapy, being a music therapist. And that sounds fascinating to me. It's still fascinating to me. By the way, if you know someone on YouTube that you follow who is a music therapist, or you yourself are one, like, I would love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment, like, or leave me, like, a channel name or something. That would be great. Um, so some, it's still something I think I want to do. It's still so appealing to me. I, maybe in my 50s, I will switch careers again when my body can't hack during massage anymore. I won't be able to do this. I don't know. But anyways, I'm a big music person in general. And then music therapy, I was like, ooh, heck yes. So I finally found a copy of this book for under $20. It's been out of print for a very long time. It's Sounding the Inner Landscape, Music as Medicine by Kay Gardner. So there are titles like um, about chant, titles about harmonics, um, titles, chapters about harmonics, chapters about melody, chapters about rhythm, um, all sorts of stuff. There's illustrations, there are music clips in here, like sheet music stuff in here. Um, I... I'm just so happy to finally have a copy of this book. I can't even tell you. So yes, it was like 20 bucks. No, I don't care. It's in good shape. I'm happy to have it. So that's everything that I hauled in November. Not too bad, right? I mean, I have certainly done much worse before. So um, have you read any of these? Um, should I prioritize any of them over anything else? Let me know. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying Vlogmas so far. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.